You won't find Doritos or Pepsi in Brooklyn's latest vending machine. Instead, Narcan and crack pipes. The point of it is we all know people who would be alive today if a machine like this had existed. This machine, one of four the city's health department plans to install. This also normalizes that we in treatment know that people are using and so we're okay with that. You can use safely, get to us and then get treatment so that you can turn your life around and that's the goal. The machine reportedly ran out of crack pipes in the first 24 hours. This program costing taxpayers about three quarters of a million dollars. Critics like former NYPD Commissioner Bill Bratton sees this as society surrendering in the war on drugs. Instead of trying to get people away from drugs, we have policies now, we have vending machines to encourage them to stay on drugs. Narcan vending machines are a growing trend. Pennsylvania, Texas and Michigan already have them. New York, however, appears to be the first to distribute free crack pipes through vending machines. Former drug dealer and addict Richie Wynn has dedicated his life to helping others achieve sobriety. He says there's no such thing as safe consumption. Have somebody safely inject fentanyl was his uh, oxymoron because there's no way to safely inject a street drug that is that is being manufactured in another country that has no regulation. Law enforcement expert Jason Johnson pointing out the negative impacts of drugs doesn't stop at the user. And there's also all the collateral effects, uh, homelessness and all the things that come with it, the appearance of disorder, increase in thefts and shoplifting. It has um, sort of a ripple effect that I don't think is widely appreciated. These vending machines are part of a pilot program, so if deemed successful, they'll roll out more. This as NYC health officials say they're on track for another record year of deaths from overdose. In Washington, I'm Kayla Gaskins.